I'm Rabbi Yehuda Levin, an ultra-Orthodox Jew from Brooklyn, New York. And I'm certainly someone who is concerned about Jews for Jesus. I understand that Christians have the right to their own religious values, just like we don't want anybody interfering in our ritual circumcision or what blessings we're allowed to make. We certainly don't want to interfere in what Christians do or don't do. On the other hand, we don't proselytize and one of the worst things that can happen to our community is when other groups try to proselytize and take away um, our, our Jewish people who are not familiar with their own religion. Nevertheless, nevertheless, when they do it, at least in an honest way, um, it's one thing. But Jews for Jesus does it in a way which we believe is religious consumer fraud. It's absolutely outrageous. And I want to mention right now as I say this, that we don't want David Brick nor any of the Jews for Jesus or the so-called messianic Jewish types to try to use snippets of this response in, uh, in an unfair way and to take it out of context. That would be fur bring further shame to the, these uh, proselytizing messianic organizations. You are not a completed Jew when you take on Christianity. You can't be a little bit pregnant and if you're Jewish, you can't go against the precepts of our faith. So this is not meant to offend anyone. On, on the contrary, we don't expect Sarah Palin sitting in an audience where her pastor brought in David Brickner, that she has to know our Jewish theology and she has to get out or, or, or stamp out or has to make some sort of a protest. To compare that to Obama sitting by Pastor Wright for 20 years and all the things he said is really ridiculous and it's just a sign of how desperate the liberals are because of the amazing success of the Palin phenomenon. So while we're upset with Jews for Jesus, we're opposed to all Messianic Jews because uh, we, they're, they're, they are being dishonest in trying to say you're a completed Jew by accepting Christianity. That goes against our grain. That's false consumer religious fraud. Nevertheless, nevertheless, frankly, one can certainly make a case that people who do things like, like advancing the Sodom and Gomorrah um, lifestyles and uh, baby killing are in a certain way doing more spiritual damage than the horrific and the very negative spiritual damage by what's being done by dishonesty of Messianic Jews. Nevertheless, Sodom predates the giving of the Torah. God didn't destroy Sodom because of idolatry or paganism. He destroyed it because of homosexuality and um, the, the, uh, the uh, same kind of anti-family uh, licentious immorality. And that's where we say, you go, Governor Palin. Don't pay any attention. We religious Jews who keep the, the faith and who are not covering our face with masks and are not political hacks for hire, um, we support you and we don't hold it against you at all that you don't know the intricacies of what offends us. So you go and Godspeed, Sarah Palin.